Welcome to this VMware Cloud Director Service video demonstration. In this video, you will see how to scale multi-tenant cloud services in VMware Cloud Director Service. First, you'll see how to deploy Cloud Director Service and VMware Cloud and AWS SDDC instances and assign the SDDC resources to your VMware Cloud Director Service instance. Then you'll see the scaling options that are available for growing your SDDC instance to accommodate more tenant workloads and how to scale the Cloud Director Service instance to provide global coverage. Let's begin by deploying a VMware Cloud Director Service instance. In the VMware Cloud Services console, select the VMware Cloud Director tile in your list of services, then select Create Instance. Fill out the form provided and select Create Instance to begin your deployment. When the deployment is complete, you can switch to the VMware Cloud and AWS console, select the SDDC tab, and create an SDDC instance by filling out the form. You can select the region for the deployment, provide details about the host types and number of hosts to begin with, and optionally, in the advanced configuration, you can select to deploy a large instance type. After filling out the form, deployment of the SDDC instance will begin. When the deployment is complete, you can return to the VMware Cloud Director Service instance to perform an association between the two instances. In the Instance tile, select the Actions menu and select Associate SDDC. Next, provide the API token, UUID, and SDDC name, and the association will begin. When the association is complete, you will have a VMware Cloud Director Service environment ready for customer workloads using resources from VMware Cloud and AWS. You can begin with a small three-host cluster, but as your tenant workloads increase, you will need to grow the SDDC instance to provide additional resources. The first scaling method is adding a host to the SDDC instance to increase the size of the cluster. In the SDDC instance tile, select the Actions menu and select Add Hosts. In the form provided, you can select the number of hosts to be added to the cluster. When you select Add Hosts, the host deployment will begin. When the process completes, the cluster resources in the SDDC will increase and you will have additional resources available for your tenants. As your needs continue to increase, you can add more hosts to the cluster until you reach the maximum of 16 hosts in a single cluster. The next scaling method is deploying additional clusters in the SDDC instance. This is another action that can be performed on the SDDC instance tile. Select the Actions menu of the instance and select Add Cluster. You can provide details about the host type and cluster size in the form provided. When the deployment is complete, you will have additional resources available in the SDDC instance, but you will need to configure those resources to be available for your tenants in Cloud Director service before they can be used. You can continue to add hosts and clusters to your SDDC instance until you reach the maximum of 10 clusters. A fully deployed environment can provide up to 160 hosts to be used by as many as 16 tenants in Cloud Director service. But you can still scale Cloud Director service even further by associating additional SDDC instances up to an initial soft limit of five SDDC instances. This scales the environment to as many as 80 tenants using 50 clusters and 800 hosts. To scale even further, additional VMware Cloud Director Service instances can be deployed in various regions. Just two VMware Cloud Director Service instances enable you to have 160 tenants using as many as 1,600 hosts. Since VMware Cloud Director Service can be associated with VMware Cloud and AWS instances within 150 milliseconds round trip latency, these two instances could provide you with resources in two large geographic regions, allowing you to quickly respond to the growing needs of your customers. VMware Cloud Director Service makes multi-region expansion simple with the worldwide reach of VMware Cloud on AWS.